Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about the Black Stars of Ghana's team. Well, we know that there are a lot of changes which is actually going on now. We are going to have a new team manager. We are also going to have a new goalkeeper's trainer or goalkeeper's coach, of which we understand it is going to be the former player, Adam Larsen Corrasse. Then other changes going to happen at the technical aspect of the team. New scout and others are all going to be added. Now, one goalkeeper which can be considered going forward will be Jordan Yamwa Emisa. Well, he is a Ghanaian goalkeeper, a German-born Ghanaian who is ready to represent Ghana any day, any time. And I'm in this video, we are going to talk about him. What is he bringing on board? How are his performances and others at the club side which he can actually bring into this Black Stars of Ghana's team? Let's talk about it. And also five things of which the goalkeeping department is inclusive that coach Chris Eating has to do in order for this Black Stars of Ghana's team to be a successful or a winning team going forward as a national team so let's talk about it in this video you know how we do it before then just drop us a like you like the video after that you subscribe you put on the bell for more updates on this channel now number one is the goalkeeping department well now before we talk about you know jordan yamo emisa who is a young goalkeeper who is ready to represent ghana you know we have some goalkeepers we can talk about them one is joseph lukolokot who is a goalkeeper for charlton athletic two is um richard ofori who is a goalkeeper for orlando paris Three is Lawrence Satizigi, who is a goalkeeper for St. Garland. Four, we can also talk about Manaf Nuddin, goalkeeper for KS Eupin. Then five, Danlad Ibrahim. Then um, we can talk about, you know, others. There are a lot of goalkeepers that Ghana we can consider. But one goalkeeper we are going to talk about is the 21 year old German born Ghanaian Jordan Yamwa Emisa. Currently, he plays his club football for Burton Albion. He is on loan from Sheffield United and he is on loan until the end of the season. One thing we should know about the goalkeeper, he has the height, 198 centimeter tall. Um, he was born on 2nd August, um, that is 2001, and he is going to be 22 this particular year. He's young, he can add up to the team going forward, but I think currently, as many were commenting that we should add him to the Blasters of Ghana's team and others, I think he is not yet ready for the Ghana team. Well, we have exceptional goalkeepers who come in and give you some stellar performances which can actually merit them to be in there but let's also consider this as a 21 year old goalkeeper who is not getting a lot of playing minutes at his club side when he comes to the national team and maybe he fails or he makes mistake how is he going to actually bounce back from that because if you go to sheffield united the whole of last year he didn't get a lot of playing minutes and um, i think the last minutes he got he, he kept one game and afterwards had to move on on loan to Burton Albion. After joining Burton Albion, he has also kept in two matches. And afterwards, he is out of favor. So this is a goalkeeper that, if you want to be truthful to ourselves, he's not getting a lot of play minutes in the League One side. So comparatively, you can say Joseph Wallacott is even better in terms of club football or club side than this particular goalkeeper. The Black Stars goalkeeping department, you, we know they all have problems. <laughs> Artiziki, well, he did well at the World Cup, but can we trust him enough? Um, Joseph Wolokot, after returning from that finger injury, he's yet to even keep post for Charlton Athletic. Manaf Rodin, from, last, um, from middle of last August till now, he has kept in only one game for his club side, um, that's AKS Eupin. Richard Ofori is you know he was injured before the World Cup and he has just bounced back from the injury but he is also not keeping post so we have a lot of problems in the Black Stars of Ghana's goalkeeping department of which I think we should find solution to it with Jordan Emisa he has shown time and again that he's ready for Ghana if you look at his bio on social media platform he's showing that yes he's a Ghanaian German and he's ready to represent Ghana before Ghana qualified for the World Cup I brought you an update that he was actually even running commentary on social media on Twitter specifically you know when Ghana was playing Nigeria he was supporting us to qualify during the World Cup you saw him tweeting about Kudus tweeting about Ghana liking our post doing everything to show that he's ready for Ghana but is he really ready for the Black Stars of Ghana's team? Many have been talking about him and going forward, I would personally like him to be given an opportunity in the Black Stars of Ghana's team if Adam Lars and Kwarase or any other goalkeeper trainer takes over. We must get new goalkeepers who will, give, who will bring competition in the team. 
even if they are not getting a lot of playing minutes in their various clubs, they are the only materials we have. We can improve them. Yes, Atiziki, we can improve him. Joseph Wallacott, we can improve him. There are petty petty mistakes that they make whenever they are imposed, and those are the things they should do aside their natural, you know, talent or quality that they have as goalkeepers. We must improve them as a national team going forward. Now, the second thing I'll talk about is the left back issue in the Black Stars of Ghana's team. We all know, aside Gideon Mensah currently, who is our next left back because uh, Babab Durahman is injured. I don't think he was actually dropped, but I think it is because of the injury. But here is the case we are now having Patrick Pozo. How are we going to give him chances? How are you going to improve him going forward? I think we should get about two more in that position, whether it's going to be Imo Ibrahim and Patrick Pozo or any other left back. We should find solutions to the left back issue. Aside with the mention, who can give us that confidence going forward as a national team? Now, the next position I also talk about is the striking department. Yes. If you can recall, Ghana's striker did not score a goal at the just ended FIFA World Cup. No striker. Inyaki did not score. Antoine Semenyong, well, he did not get, get a lot of minutes and he also did not score. It was about the midfielders and also defenders scoring for Ghana. This is an issue and we need to find a solution to that. Inyaki Williams, I think we must actually adapt a system which will favor him. We all saw what he did against Barcelona about three days ago or four days ago and we must improve our midfielders or we must go in with a strategy or a, a system of play that will favor our strikers to score goals if you are striking you are there you are not getting a lot of you know feed or you are not getting a lot of balls or chances which are created for you how can you score goals and i think coach chris Hitton must fix this against angola that is not my target we should think about the afcon how ghana can win trophy going forward that should be our main goal now the other one i'll talk about it it's player interference in terms of collapse. We all know it's an open secret that the GFA has been interfering in collapse and others. Um, of it, the FA president once said that he's not going to allow the coach alone to make selections. Um, they have also been coming out to the bank that um, no one makes selection for the coach, blah blah blah. While we are looking forward that coach Christian should stand on his grounds to co invite players that he thinks he can achieve something with. Last one that I will talk about is very key that is transition period. How can Ghana? you know we are at a junction that we are in a transition period so if you're not able to make the team actually move from this period to the next stage then you are going to fail as a coach we have players who will come in with egos they will come into the dressing room with egos because maybe he has played the last start of ghana's team for over 10 years 15 years so if you decide not to start him he's going to question you we shouldn't forget what happened at the World Cup. This is not that I'm attacking players, but we all saw it when Coach Otoado substituted the captain for the Black Stars of Ghana, Andre Ayu. We saw Ayu questioning Otoado that why did he substitute him against Portugal? And at that particular period, about that 30 seconds that the coach was explaining to him, then Ghana conceded. Maybe if the coach was to be at the touch line, he could have called on, on a certain player to be at, at a certain position that Ghana might not concede. So, all these players are going to ask questions. Jordan Ayu is, you know, is in the team for years. Um, Babab Durahman, if he returns, he will be in the team for years. All those players might sometimes question you. Why didn't you start me? I think I need to start the game. I think I need to play. Why are you doing this? We need that transitional period to be smooth. Coach Chris Hitton must be able to control the egos of players. So, I think these are some of the things that as a national team, and as a coach for the Black Stars of Ghana, if he is able to do, we can achieve. One, goalkeeping department, we need to solve that issues there. Two, is striking issues. Three, is the left back issue. Four, is smooth transition. And the last one is call apps or um, you know, interference in the Black Stars of Ghana's call apps. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Do you agree with me? Add yours. Let me know it in the comment box as well. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.